Hey TCS TV viewers, it's Dave from the Camera Store and today we're talking about audio. This is Dave from TCS TV. Hopefully some killer B-roll here. We're bringing you the latest hits from Canon, Nikon, Sony, and Sigma. More than ever, we're spending a lot of time online or creating content where audio is a very important factor. Now, if we're doing a Zoom meeting, we can certainly improve our audio that way, but also if we're doing content creation, think podcasts or vlogging, that kind of stuff, or creating a YouTube channel like we have here. These are all applications where good quality audio is well worth investing into. Now, our first talking point today is going to be about how to improve audio in your home office, which unfortunately is going to take us away from this gorgeous day. So let's head inside and take a look at some options there. Let's start at the beginning here. These days we're spending a lot of time online and now we're interacting more than ever through Zoom meetings with the boss and also Facebook Live, things like that. And if we're using a laptop and relying on the laptop's internal microphone, the audio quality is very suspect. If I hit record here and I talk with you through my laptop and you're hearing the audio now what I'm recording through my laptop's microphone, it doesn't sound very good at all compared to our tried and true Rode wireless lav mic kits. Laptops are never going to give you a great quality sound partially because of the distance and the quality of microphones included. One of the easiest upgrades you can do to your computer system or your laptop to get better quality audio is to put an external microphone. One of my favorite microphones for this use is the Rode NTG Mini. It's a very affordable microphone that's very small, looks fantastic, but it doesn't take up much space on your desk, which is really nice. If I don't want to use it, I can just tuck it away, but it gives me much better quality audio. If I hit record here and I start talking, you can hear me through both the lav microphone here, but also through the Rode NTG Mini and see the difference in quality I'm getting compared to my laptop mic. So the laptop microphone really sucks, but the Rode NTG microphone really steps it up, although we do need to look at the acoustics of the room. That microphone was about an arm's length away from me where I'm working, and the acoustics of the room really come into play. If you have a room with hardwood floors and bare walls, you're not doing yourself any favors acoustically. It's better to try and fill the room up, put a, a, an area carpet down, or something that's going to break up the sound so it doesn't bounce right back on you. And the other way to address that is to get the microphone closer to you. Now here we have the Thron Max with the arm. Now I kind of like this. I feel very professional when I'm doing this. It's like I'm a, I'm a radio DJ. It is pretty cool to have this and it allows me to keep the microphone very close to me which isn't going to improve the audio. Now the one downside to this style of microphone is it's in your face. So if you're on a Zoom meeting, you certainly get better quality audio, but does your boss want to see you talking through the microphone like this? I'm not so sure. Where this comes into play though, this kind of setup is fantastic for doing podcasts and voiceover work. Those last two microphones are great in their own regards. However, they do need to be attached to a laptop or a computer because they are a USB-C powered microphone. This is the Rode VideoMic NTG. And what I love about this microphone is how flexible it is. In the current situation, I'm using it as a desktop microphone. I can put it onto a small tripod like I have it here, plug it in through USB-C. And because of its directional pattern, I can be a little further away from the microphone and still get great pickup. Now I do have to be aware it is a conical shaped pickup pattern. So if I move side to side, I'm going to sort of get out of that zone. We'll talk a bit more, more about that once we step outside. The best part of this microphone though is that I can unplug it because it is battery operated and take it onto my camera and go out in the field. As I wandered these fields looking for any signs of color, I met with nothing but brown. Welcome to springtime in Calgary. We're back outside on a beautiful sunny day and this is where an external microphone on a camera really helps out. Generally, camera microphones suck just as much as laptop microphones suck. The audio quality isn't very good at all and I'm quite a distance from the microphone. I'm not getting great pickup. The Rode VideoMic NTG is great for this. It does have a hot shoe mount, so you can mount it directly on top of the camera where the flash would normally sit and plug it into the camera through its 3.5 millimeter jack. Now, because it's a shotgun style microphone, it's picking up most of what's directly in front of it. And that's really nice to have, but you do have to be very cautious. If I move off frame here, you're gonna hear my audio, even though I'm not speaking any louder or quieter, the audio levels are significantly less if I'm off camera. If I bring myself back in front of the microphone, you're gonna hear the audio pick up again and sound much better. And that's really nice to have, but you do have to be very cautious. If you've got noise behind you, for instance, a waterfall, traffic, things like that, it's gonna pick up as well. Shotgun microphones come in all kinds of different shapes and sizes and different specs and parameters. And they of course certainly have their time and place. Now in our particular workflow, we like to not use shotgun microphones and prefer lavalier mics. Mm -hmm. 
A lavalier microphone is a very cool little device. It's a tiny little microphone that can be discreetly hidden on the source of sound. In our case, we actually tape them to the inside of our clothing so that you can't see them whatsoever. Something we really love about lavalier mics is that it doesn't matter where you are in the frame, the audio is consistent. Unlike a shotgun microphone that limits you with its directional pattern, a lavalier mic is always the same distance from the audio source. Lav microphones come in a bunch of different sizes and shapes and cord lengths, but wireless labs are really where it's at. Now we've been using the Rode Filmmaker Kit labs for a long time and they've been very reliable for us. We love them, but they are a much bigger pack. What we're seeing nowadays is that there's a trend for much smaller, higher functioning lav microphones and they are much easier to work with. One of my favorite wireless microphone systems on the market in the new generation are the wireless Go systems. If you take a look at this transmitter compared to this transmitter from our old kit, they're so much smaller in size, but they also have the added functionality of a built-in microphone and the transmitter unit. So I don't need to plug in an external lav microphone if I don't want to have this running up underneath my clothes. I can simply just clip this onto my collar and I have a very simple wireless setup. The new generation wireless lab microphones are so easy to work with and they deliver very good quality. However, you still need to be very conscientious of things like clothing rustle. If you're moving your shirt around when you're wearing a lab microphone, that will be picked up in the audio. I've had a lot of fun today recording with these different microphones and hopefully after this video, you guys can make some more educated decisions on what microphone best suits your needs, whether it's at home or whether you're taking it out into the field. We've kept this video pretty basic. We haven't talked about passive microphones versus microphones with a preamp built into it, or how you're gonna address recording multiple audio sources on camera. But I do hope that this is gonna lead you down the path to better quality audio in your life. It's well worth looking into and you'll be well rewarded once you get better quality audio. Now, make sure you leave comments down below what you think of this video. And if you'd like to see more content like this, follow us on Instagram and please subscribe and hit the notification bell. We'll catch you again next time. You and your fucking bridges, man. Start a YouTube channel and be a famous star like me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> These days we're spending a lot more time on you gaming chairs do you spend some quality time in this chair is that or is oh, it just yeah. me oh yeah no no because djs uh nowadays oh. are all just like guys behind the computer hitting spacebar hey thanks for sticking around i hope you liked what we did in this last video and if you want to check out our more recent videos click up here and if you're canadian and you want to shop local click down here